Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So apparently there's going to be this sale at Sephora. Oh my god, Lauren Conrad just released. Pfft. It's August 14th through Sunday, August 23rd. So you get $15 off of $75 or you would get $20 off a um, $100 purchase. So that's basically the sale. It's not the usual like 10, 15, 20% off. So I kind of just wanted to talk about some things that I'm going to be picking up. I have some stuff in my car and then I'll just put up like a picture of what I'm talking about. <laughs> first things first, I want this Gucci blush so badly. The main reason why I want it is the packaging. And I know that's absolutely ridiculous, but this teal blue color is like my favorite. It's my favorite color of all time. So that's the first thing I want. And they're out of the shades one, two, three. I still have four tan and five dark. So if you're interested in this, I would definitely pick it up before it sells out. Alright, next up is this Charlotte Tilbury Luster Lip Gloss. This is from the Pillow Talk collection. So this is basically the Pillow Talk shade in a gloss. So I believe that Pillow Talk was at first um, a lip liner. And then it became this whole phenomenon where everything is Pillow Talk. She has Pillow Talk blush. Pillow Talk lipstick, a matte lipstick, a satin lipstick, a gloss, an eyeshadow palette. I mean, the color is beautiful. It's like this light pinky mauve shade. And then another thing from Charlotte Tilbury. These new bronzers she has. Bronzer is $55, which is a lot. So I'd either get the Gucci one or the Charlotte Tilbury one. Definitely would not get both. Next is this Dior Addict Stellar Lip Gloss. I've been eyeing this lip gloss for a while. I might just pull the plug and buy one of these. So I'm looking into the shade J'adore. J'adore. Anyway, it's described as a dark nude. Another lipstick from Fenty. This is their new shiny, shine, sheer, shiny, slip shine, sheer, shiny lipstick. Yeah, that's a terrible name. <laughs> Could just be the slip shiny lipstick. That would be perfect. Anyway, so I bought one of these already. I actually haven't even, I honestly haven't even used it. I just watched it, but I just want to get another shade because I'm like a sucker for this type of lipstick formula. It's my absolute favorite. I also picked up the shade, they're called like cacao nibs or something. Okay, do you say cocoa or cacao? I bought this one, cookies and cacao. It's a really pretty shade, so I kind of want another. All right, and then I think this is my last lip product in here, but I'll probably find like three more things that I want. So this is a little set from Buxom. It's a Latte Glosses Mini Plumping Lip Gloss Set. Well, this set looks super cute. One of the shades in here is White Russian, which is like their super popular shade, but I actually don't own it. Then Hot Toddy, Sugar, and Melanie. So these are all like nude shades. <laughs> you could have guessed that one. But yeah, it's cute and it's only 25 bucks. So, all right, next up, Brio Geo. They just came out with a new, it's a new line in their hair care products. They came out with a new one that's fragrance free, which is very interesting to me because if all of their other products have fragrance in them. So I actually love the idea of this. And I thought about this before that I don't know of any like fragrance free hair products. So I'm excited they came out with this. I've read some of these reviews and it seems like a lot of people are saying that this better caters to people with with more fine hair with thinner hair i feel like this line is just supposed to be good for sensitive skin if people you know have any like allergies to fragrances or just don't like them but if you have curly hair or thicker hair i've read that people have been saying that it's not enough for them they need something a little bit stronger so that's just something to keep in mind me personally it could work really well for me because i do have fine hair but yeah so i think i might pick up one of these i don't know if i'll pick up the conditioner i don't feel like i need something super like gentle on my ends like where i'd put conditioner maybe getting the shampoo maybe the detangler but they're definitely not super cheap so i might just pick up one of them and see how i feel and then if i like it i'll pick up something else it says hypoallergenic shampoo so that's gonna be great for people with sensitive skin if you have allergies next i have an eyeshadow palette from natasha denona this is the tropic eyeshadow palette this is 50 percent off right now 
and I've always wanted to get this palette but but I bought other ones instead just because their palettes are so expensive I usually buy the palettes that I think I'll use the most but considering this is $65 which still is really expensive but $65 for Natasha Denona is a steal I'm not exactly sure because it's still $65 that's a lot but but I'm thinking about it next I have two perfumes I'm thinking of picking up probably just the travel sizes of them so the first one is this is the ysl black opium neon so i love black opium i have just like the regular perfume but in this one they added a little bit of a like coffee scent it says keynotes neon coffee orange blossom dragon fruit i know they have black opium intense as well they have like five different forms of black opium i feel like the smell of coffee would go really well with our perfume but i don't know i'm also thinking about this is a new perfume from sol de janeiro they're known for their bum bum cream it smells so good they finally came out with a perfume the full size of this is ungodly expensive same as black opium black opium is super expensive so i don't know i might just get this one because i already have black opium so this is in the warm and spicy category and the keynotes are salted caramel pistachio and vanilla so it's a sweet scent for sure but in my opinion it's like a super like sweet sexy scent you know what i mean because sometimes when you think of sweet you think of like like those perfumes people used to wear from bath and body works that smelled like an apple or like fruits i hate fruity scents i don't know what it is about them i don't know why i don't know why it's weird to me i just don't want to smell like a strawberry and since i'm like a woman now i think of that song by Britney spears i'm not a girl not yet a woman another product i'm thinking of Picking up is from Patrick Ta. This is his new cream and powder blush duos. I'm thinking of picking up the shade Bron um, She's So LA because I'm into those like bronzy blush shades. I just love them. Ooh, okay, last thing. This is from Olaplex. This is their new intensive bond building hair treatment kit. So I own the number three from Olaplex. I do want to pick up something like this that's a little more, more of a intensive repair, something that actually can rebuild your hair. So yeah, those are all the things that I'm thinking about picking up. I'm excited to buy some new stuff. I'm gonna try not to go crazy on lip stuff and maybe only pick up two lip products. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, not yet a woman. <laughs> That's from the movie with Britney Spears called like Railroads something. Oh my god, I totally forgot. Crossroads. I think that's what it's called. Crossroads. Free Britney.